So it's hard to put a label on your music and we don't want to because <laughs> it's such a sweet and addictive mix between jazz, pop, electro and hip hop. Is diversity a crucial thing for your creative process? Um, I think maybe a better way to put it, at least for us, is like uh, that being unique is mm -hmm. really important. Um, from when we started, we knew we had stumbled onto something that didn't really sound like anything else. And I think as we keep writing, it's been really important to, yes, like find all sorts of different elements, but make sure that they all fit this sound that we started from and really keep it all this focused, interesting thing that is hard to pin down, but is definitely Marion Hill. All right. So how the Marion Hill duo came to life? Oh, so... About two years ago, Jeremy came to me with a beat that would become Whiskey. And it was only one song at the time. Um, and we weren't even a band. We didn't quite know what we were doing, but we just wrote it because we loved it. And then Jeremy released it to a lot of online publications. Released is a strong word. I <laughs> sent it in an email, and it was linked on a SoundCloud page. Um, and we'd known each other for a long time before then. We grew up together um, and had sort of been both writing in parallel until this point. When for fun we just wrote something together and it ended up catching on and then we were like oh I guess this is a thing we should take seriously and we started writing <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys feel to the task is the this something come that came naturally or do each one of you have a speciality oh, um, I think we I definitely mean, have our specialities I mean um, we both work together on writing the music and lyrics. Sam obviously yeah, takes control of the vocal takes, and yeah. I have some <laughs> and coaching and thoughts. And the, yeah, I handle all the production elements. So yeah, and we come from a little bit of a different musical background. Like I definitely graduate, um, lean towards <laughs> uh, sort of like the pop side of things, and Jeremy loves hip hop and, and more indie underground. Okay. Things. And Samantha provides very sensual vocals uh, on minimalist beats, EV bass line, really soulful vibes with a lot of breaks. Your music could be described as contrasting, which is part of its appeal. With what instruments do you like to, to create music? Um, I think drums are really important. <laughs> drums. <laughs> we'll often start with drums. And we've been playing a lot with different brass sounds um, mm -hmm. and different brass instruments and like trumpets and horns, especially for the album. And trumpets, saxophone. horns, saxophones. Um, but really, I, I just love finding ways to have some instrumentation that within this electronic world that it's going mm -hmm. to be that feels really live and feels really raw. And finding whether that's a horn or a, or a violin or a vocal sample, just something that feels really human in the midst of these program beats. Melting instruments. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit on the artists who influence your music? Yeah. So personally, I grew up with a lot of the vocalists, a lot of jazz, R&B, blues. I got a James, Ella Fitzgerald, Lauren Hill. I loved um, Whitney Houston. <laughs> A lot of them, but um, but yeah, I mean, I love all different kinds of music, and um, it's definitely prevalent in, in a lot of our songs. Yeah, I grew up on hip hop, really. Um, just from, I grew up with Kanye, as I like to say. College Dropout came out around the time I started appreciating really good music, um, and then also. 40 Drake's producer has been a huge influence for what our sound has turned out to be. Um, and I think with that also I loved like the classic songwriters, mm -hmm. like people like Irving Gordon Berlin and George Gershwin. And a lot of Marion Hill has been about trying to find classic song archetypes within new sounding popular music. Beside music, what things in life inspired you? I think the biggest thing is just uh, the people in our lives and relationships and our collective experience because a lot of what we do when we're writing is we we listen to the the sound that we're working on the beat that we're working on and we just think like what is this about and so much of where we go from there is based on just like what we're experiencing and what we see in our lives and the intricacies of personal relationships all right so i'm probably a little nerdy but your mm -hmm. stage name Marion Hill yeah. reminds me of the Marion Hill character in The Shield in Marvel wow. Book. Wow. Does it have anything to do with it? It <laughs> does. When so you said nerdy, like, I no. thought you were going to be going for the actual <laughs> meaning. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is even nerdier, believe it or not. Um, the real meaning is we, um, one of the first times we became friends, we were starring opposite each other in a production of The Music Man in 8th grade. Yeah. 
when you're both very little. Um, and I played Harold Hill, and she played Marion Peru. So we put okay. the two names the together two name? and Marion Hill. That okay. Like, okay. So it's only <laughs> <laughs> you are part of this new generation 2.0. Uh, so what do you think about the de democratization of music thanks to tools such as SoundCloud, mm -hmm. MySpace, Bandcamp, or ever social network, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook mm -hmm. or Instagram? Do you use them? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. we wouldn't exist without it without the democratization of music. Um, so, I mean, there are lots of issues in making it profitable and all of this stuff that's spinning around, but at the end of the day, we exist because we were able to make a song in my bedroom, email it out to 60 blogs, and here we are. Like, there's a pretty straight line, and that would not have been possible before all of this. When and where are your upcoming concerts? So we have um, a fall headlining tour in mm -hmm. the States, um, and then we're hoping to come back to Europe either in the winter or early 2016. We're also so. playing okay. Made in America in September with Beyonce, which is pretty exciting, yeah. and, and, nice. many, and many yeah. other artists, but you know. Yeah, um, and I mean Nuba tonight. Yeah, so. Nuba, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, you only dropped a seven tracks EP mm -hmm. for the moment. Are you working on a full left album? Yes. 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 We've been working, yeah. like, we are on a break from that. We'll be going right back to working on it um, when we fly home on Sunday. We um, have been writing for a while and we're hoping to finish the album by the end of the summer. So to hopefully have it out early next year with a single before then.